Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. And sure you subscribe before the end of this video so you don't miss out on new content that is coming on my channel. Thank you so much for, you know, clicking on this video to watch. Today's topic is money. We're discussing money, how I manage my money as a content creator. Uh, money used to be a really like shy topic for me that I would shy away from but now it's something that I'm so so passionate about simply because when I was starting this whole journey nobody was talking to me about money I didn't have information about oh making money and all so I'm really passionate about helping younger creatives or newer creatives how to manage their money getting paid even when they get paid what's next and all and because i look at some things online i'm like no this isn't right content creation is actually a job and should be treated as so and that means managing finances like sorry but you have to be your own finance person you have to be your own accountant you have to be your everything because it's just you doing this thing as a content creator if you're just starting out so i'm just going to be sharing a few things that i have done and trust me between last year and this year how i took care of my money has totally evolved I feel like a different person when I'm handling my finances because this time last year man I wasn't even as intentional as I am now really and I just want to share a couple of things with you guys one thing I did this year was to invest in my finances and I signed up for the money Africa community so I have learned a lot about money just from reading like the book that I got from them um joining like live sessions live classes because there's a class every week there's a group chat filled with so many intelligent people that know their onions about money so in the past few months i've taken a lot of information off the internet of other people of conversations with people and i just had to streamline it and apply it to myself if you just have this knowledge you're you literally just have knowledge but when you have totally applied it to your life to your field to your career to your problems that's what makes it wisdom and that's really what makes you wise so that's what i've been able to do this past few months and apply the money tips i'm hearing here and there to myself as a content creator and if you're interested in knowing more then keep on watching so one thing that i started doing is to set a minimum for my income for the month now you know that the pay for content creators is very unstable in a month you can be balling and make up to half a million in another month you might just see about 50k and you're like what's going on what's going on like uh, did i do anything wrong sometimes you didn't do anything wrong there are peak seasons there are seasons that content creators would make more in there's black friday where a lot of brands work with content creators to push out their black friday sales there's christmas where you know brands work with content creators push out like their christmas campaign you have the april sale you have the end of the year sale so a lot of times there are just seasons that content creators will make more in okay but one thing that i started doing was to set a minimum that this is how much i need to make every single month that is influenced by my lifestyle how much i need to sustain myself for a month how much i need to cover my expenses this and that so now i decided to set a target for myself because i realized that whenever i don't set a target i just go on vibes i'm just you know anything that comes my way no problem we get work we don't get work it's fine but now that i know that okay i actually have some things that i'm responsible for i set a target for myself the minimum amount of money that i should make every month so one thing that's helped me with this goal setting is that my income is quite diverse so i make money from working with brands from YouTube here, from, you know, race card, this and that. So what I do is at the beginning of the month, I kind of, you know, most of the time I have brands that I'm talking to that want to work with me. Now I see sometimes there's money that comes quick and there are some that, you know, you guys are negotiating on. So I kind of study like the atmosphere really and know like, okay, am I going to get paid much this month or not? If I see that, okay, it's not looking like a lot of money will come from working with brands then i pump more effort into my other sources of income i push to make more um i also do like product photography for brands so it's just for you to be quick this thing really helps me you know working on my toes like really so once i see that okay this particular you know field of income is not bringing anything really this month then i put more effort into the other one i reach out to brands 
um, I reach out to my audience, they need a rate card. These are things that I do because I have a goal set by the end of the month to hit it. And so far, so good. Every single month this year, I've actually hit the goal. You also want to make sure your goal is realistic. If you never made up to like 300K a month as a content creator, you don't want to put that as your starting goal that you, at the end of the month, you do not hit it. You're now sad and all. So I would say start with something very realistic. Start with something that you've hit before and you know that you can hit again. Once you're stable on that, let's say you've hit that goal for like three months consecutively, push it up, add some extra money to that goal, and you know increase your income so my second tip is that i pay myself and i no longer do that using percentage now I'll explain that so in school i had like kind of a fixed allowance coming in from my parents and um, i would just save a particular percentage you know spend the rest on myself and all but now what i do is i pay myself as a staff of myself period so i know how much it will cost me monthly to leave okay to cover all the bills, transportation, self-care, food, this and that and all. I know how much it will cost me. So at the end of a month, I pay myself for the next month, just as if I'm a salary earner, okay? Now, the reason why I stopped doing percentage is that when you earn more, you automatically spend more. And because your income is not stable as a content creator, that's one big mistake you don't want to make. Because let's say a month you make 300K, okay and you save you pay yourself 50 percent so that means pay yourself 150 so let's say in another month you now make like maybe 70k you will not pay yourself 35k you see that that particular month you would actually be struggling to keep up to your life expenses your cost of living and all so i stopped doing percentage because it was leading to an automatic life inflation so once i make you know some quick sweet money I automatically pay myself and of course if it's for me I want to spend it on me I want to buy something for myself or do something extra for myself so I stopped doing that so I said calculate how much it would cost me to live basically um, even including like self-care and pampering in my cost and I pay myself that the remaining money now goes to my savings so let's say this particular month that I don't make enough or I don't make so high from the savings from previous months, I can now withdraw from that one and then pay myself. So imagine there's a particular month where I'm tied down and I can't create. Um, let's say there's travel involved or my health, I come down with something and I'm unable to create or even work with brands that month. That means I won't have income, nothing to pay myself. So that all that amount of money that I have been saving is what I will use to now cover my expenses for that month. Also, in the case of emergencies, things happening to your gadget, your laptop should crash, your phone screen, something should happen to it, your phone battery, something should happen to it, your camera, something should happen to it, your lights. These are things that will stop you from creating normally as you should. So what I simply do is when those emergencies come up, I can easily go to my savings there, take some money from there, replace either the gadget or fix it, all right? And then there's a continuous flow in my content creation. I don't know if you guys understand me, but that's what I've decided to do. And currently it is working for me. Now, don't be too harsh on yourself and be like, oh, I just want to give myself little money. I don't really know. Ensure you're paying yourself enough as a staff of your brand. And then you keep enough for even upgrades for your tools, different things. You might want to move from where you're staying long-term goals really or even for emergencies and that's where i would keep the remaining money so my third tip would be have separate accounts now this is so beautiful because have an account where brands pay you into that's where they put your money inside okay and have an account where you spend from all right as much as possible don't have a credit card for the accounts that brands are paying you into if you know that you can't control your spending i would advise that you don't get a debit or credit card for that account then you have the account where you spend from so when you pay yourself at the end of the month that's the account that you would pay into and then be spending from during the following month now this is very very important it helps you it helps you stay disciplined so have one single account that's attached to your invoice that you send out to brand and let them pay you into that account at the end of the month do your mathematics how much you made that month pay yourself from the money send the rest into your savings or you can even leave it inside that account whichever one you please to do i prefer to send 
to my savings because I always use third party apps for my savings and not my bank account. So it's just like working for a company. There are times where you see your company is hitting top marks with sales, they are doing celebrations. I don't know about you, but where I did my IT, we celebrate almost everything like when there's a mark in sales those type of things we celebrate it but when we're celebrating they're not handing you oh you have more money this month oh we're paying you more money this month we're paying you more money this month no companies take months to do a salary review before they now pay their staffs even more so i feel you yourself should not try to inflate your lifestyle once you make more so once you know a huge brand comes and they pay you like wow well, one sign for the next three months cash out immediately you just go to the next store and then get something for yourself and oh no you should have some discipline when it comes to your money and try your possible best not to inflate your lifestyle because if you inflate your lifestyle early and you don't get that pay again and your pay comes down it's going to be really hard for you to adjust your lifestyle to come down also so it will now lead you to thinking of things like borrowing money or you forget to save you now neglect your savings or your investments now nah, you don't want to do that so another thing would be review your rates i used to have like one rate for like a long long time and i would just be going based on vibes and all but one thing i started doing is to review my rates and now i review my rates quarterly so i just reviewed my rates coming into the new quarter so when you review your rates you want to consider things like additional skills you can offer to brands additional services you can offer to brands you want to look at if you've upgraded your equipment in the past you know four months three months for a quarter yeah three months if you've added something that you know makes you create better in the past month consider the cost of that the upgrade on your equipment upgrade on anything literally that you used to film and then consider that do your cost and reevaluate has there been a growth in your audience your prices should also grow as well though i don't like to look at numbers so much when doing my pricing i rather look at the things that i used to create rather than the numbers but also if your numbers go up your fee also should go up as well so these are things you want to consider you don't want to stay stagnant and being charging the same thing over and over the prices of things will change what you bought in 2018 if you go back to the market right now you cannot get it at that price likewise your services too should change is your hairdresser changing her price why should your own price be the same your phone when you go back to the market you want to buy it again to the same price these are things you need to consider there are things that appreciate there are things that you know depreciate and different things okay so i've said so much about money and i thought to share a couple of apps that you guys can use for saving for investment and here and there. So the first one is CarryWise. You guys already know that I'm a huge fan of CarryWise and I've been using CarryWise for a long as time. So with CarryWise, you can save. You can actually have a virtual bank account there. So if you don't want your money to even be coming to an account that has a card, no problem. You can provide your virtual bank account as your stash on CarryWise to brands for them to pay you inside. And then at the end of the month, you pay yourself from that. With this one, the money is not locked. You have access to it at every time. There's also the lock savings on CarryWise where you lock your money inside and you can get access at a particular time with some interest. You have investment too on CarryWise, investing in mutual funds. You can do that on CarryWise. So the second app is AOO. I talked about AOO in my updated apps that I use. So AOO too is similar. You can have a bank account there brands can pay you into that account okay you can also have a locked savings there where you lock your money over time as long as you want three more i think the minimum is about three months three months six months a year you can lock your money there so another one is rise vest if you've ever wanted to invest in dollar assets like foreign companies i'm talking amazon i'm talking netflix facebook I don't know if they have clubhouse but if you want to invest in dollar assets then you can do that with rice vest you simply pay naira for dollar assets i haven't looked so so much into this app okay um, i'm just getting settled and i want to start using it but so far so good that's what i know about it uh my sister also knows about them so it's not as if they are a small business i actually learned about them from the money africa community so i believe that they are well well trusted so in case you want to stop you know playing small i want to go for the big guns and you know get stocks and shares and all then you should check out rice vest so another one is lada and lada is from money africa so money africa owns lada so lada is an application they also have the website 
anyone you want to use based on you you can also use it to buy shares from different companies across the globe literally um so yeah you can download their app on play store on apple store anyone i have downloaded it on my phone from apple store yes and um, i'm still setting it up but i just thought to share with you guys so maybe we can start the journey together into investing and all i'm not so solid in the whole investment part really when it comes to shares and all with mutual funds yes i think i know my onions a bit but with shares i'm still learning and it's a journey definitely you guys will see more about it at the end of the year later in the year when i have you know invested and maybe got in some returns maybe maybe okay thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know more tips you have for content creators out there i'm sure they'll be more than willing to check the comment section for these tips okay give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't i mean you made it this far you might as well just subscribe thank you so much guys i'll see you guys in my next one bye